Yaha, the most I Elaha, Yaha, Yon He Fahu He, Elohim, Elohim, Neta Rav Neta, God in your modern day name, Kodowish, 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 Yon He Fahu He, Sepa Jot, Kodowish, 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 Elohim, Sepa Jot. Greetings and blessings to you in the name of the Lord Thoth, Mechesodik, Yehovah, Adonai, who brings us the ending at the beginning. Children of Louis, children of Israel, you're getting the ending always at the beginning. Kodowish, Kodowish, Kodowish. Adonai Sebajo. Thank you, my Lord, for always looking out for the children of Israel, the children of Louis, sending back the blessings. The Lord's blessing is rich. So when you're getting back your blessing, you're getting back your spiritual richness. You shall be gathered again. Did you hear me? Did I say it loud enough? You shall be gathered again. Doctrine and covenant 45, 25. They, the children of Israel, they, the children of Levi, they, the children of Jacob, yes, all the saints and elect. Our priest king, Lois, shall be gathered again, but no more, but no more, but no more. That part of it, not applicable anymore. You shall not remain anymore. The times of the Gentile is done. Choice be coming to the Gentile. Yes, that time is done. So you shall be Gathered again, 3D5, 16, 12, coming to those who were ruling over you. Yes, the Gentile, Caucasian, in America. That's where we're starting first, on the rest of the planet. Yes, and who giving them power, vigor of Christ, who giving vicar power. Canaan, who given Canaan power? Bineli, aka Balim, Balam, who given Bineli power? Lucifer, whole thing coming down with them. None of them shall have any more power over you, but I will remember my covenant to you. House of Lewis, house of Israel. You hear me, no one hear me well. You shall come into the fullness of the gospel. The gospel firmly decided unto you. You shall come into the knowledge of my fullness of the gospel. Children of Israel, I will remember my contract, my agreement, my pledge, my covenant with you. Not done as yet. Yes, your covenant back in business. The shameless one, Lucifer, and all his minions, I just blamed out for you. Yes, upset that your blessing turn back on. He got the message he heard through the grapevine that your blessing turn back on. So he's angry and threatening to come fight with you. Every time your blessing turn on, he come and try to call you down, try to bully you down, so you will give up your blessing. But this time, it's not going to work. He will spend, and he spent seven days, seven thousand, seven seal, warring with you. Yes, that's what he did. Yes, that's what he did. But the last three and a half that you were dead, done. You hear me now? That's why I brought you back here and say you shall be gathered again because the three and a half of the seven, done, 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 done. He 
can look at it on a macro level for the 6,000 years and much that he running the business first seal all the way up to the opening of the second seal all the way up to the opening of the seventh seal running up the business oh you can look at it yeah seven year pass over the first three and a half three and a half you were dead but now you are being raised back up on the fourth year twenty twenty four day here they shall rise up yes you're rising up children of israel rising up i'm telling the shameless one the lawless one scolding him you lawless one shameless lawless are you not ashamed of yourself for trying to lead us astray when your time done you hear me now the fourth day, they're rising up. Rise, gathering time. Rise, gathering time. Shameless one, lawless one. I know you hear me loud and clear. And you're hungry. And you're upset. And ready to fight. Give him back unto you. Apocalypse of Elijah 4, 12 through 19. Read it and you'll see the ending at the beginning, which I'm going to walk you through. Nothing of what he has planned shall work to put him back at the head of the table. Him and all his pyramid, everyone below it. Done! 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 Borrowed time. Children, keys of Enoch, 317, last week, Told you about his flying saucer. He's packing up and gassing up, fueling up. Talk home, try to trick you and move your back into materialistic lifestyle, inspiring you with fear. So you're afraid of him. No, we're not afraid no more. No, we're not afraid no more. Quite, quite the opposite. Children, when you know, you know, they are afraid of you. They are afraid of you. They know who is being risen up on the fourth day. Hear me now, children of Israel. So they're going to go after the chosen one, the chosen one, the special one, the Levite saints, the elects of Judah, and the righteous seed of Lewis, the righteous seed of Israel, who are about to co-qualify themselves for the righteous heaven, the righteous life, the righteous kingdom, the righteousness of this entire planet, starting with America. But this week, I'm going to give you Apocalypse of Elijah 5, verse 20. Hear me now. He will take up his fire. He will take up his fiery wings and fly out after you. Joseph are flying out. He's flying out, coming after you, flying out, flying out. What a fruitless thing to do. What a futile thing to do. It won't work, won't, won't, won't work. Children of Israel, can't come frighten you, can't come call you down, can't come step up in your face and try to push you back into no enslavement. That done, the planet is now yours. So, again. One more thing telling you he's coming with something that fly, fairy wings, flying with all kind of different gadgets to come frighten you. And you see, whoa, he's from outer space and he's coming with all kind of alien tech. No, no, go so. All of this on the planet already. He's just being forced out of the fourth dimension, coming down to the third, and he has to make his grand entry to come frighten you. But that won't work on the saints, on the elect, Judah, Levite, on the righteous people of Israel. Lewis won't work. Keys of Enoch, 319, 107, and Revelation 9 verse 14 tell you the same thing that is coming with craft. This is the first arrival to do the first magic trick. Yes, when you're 
pillars of light are coming to turn you into the true saints, the true chosen, the true co-citizen. With your head for wet, and the Lord told Melchizedek coming up with fiery winds to come frighten you. No, no, go, sir. Apocalypse of Elijah. Five. This is what's coming his way. I give you the ending of the beginning. Verse 7 through 14. And told day. Yes, 2024 to 2025. The earth will be disturbed. Yes, disturbance coming. And the sun will darken. Yes, it's being darkened. Peace will be removed from the earth. Compliment of the lawless one, the shameless one. That's all he can do at that time when who is gone? The removal of the righteous elect and saints and the children, the house of Israel. When you're gone, him come bad up, come bad up, come intimidate those that are left that did not make themselves ready. But the natural disasters are coming up and guess who's coming back to clear up the remnant of him? Your children of Israel. Yes, this is gonna come to those who are tying themselves Firmly to him. That's why I'm telling you now. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Say where you're going to do. Let go of the Gentile. Their time is done. And they have no more power over you. Everything comes at the appointed time. Everyone has to respect that timing. And let you go. So you must let them go. Their rule done. No matter how much I'm come and try to tell you, I'm still in power. No, no, go, sir. No, no, go, sir. No, no, go, sir. Out of power. The sinners that follow him will groan when you realize you made the bad bet, a wrong choice. They will say, what have you done to us? We're damned, 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 oh, son of lawlessness. What lies did you tell us? How we hold on to those lies? Saying, I am the Christ, the white Jesus I gave you. That was me telling you, worship that image and move away from your father's statue. Which said, no image. And the Christ won't come. No, 2,000 years ago, the Christ is you're starting with your priest king, your Christ king, Lois, and then you, the elect, you, the saints, and you, the righteous seed. Those are the Christ. They haven't come as yet. So whoever come before came on his own behalf, wasn't sent by any source connected to your source. Yes, you say you are the Christ when you are the devil. That's what came. And give you all kind of fantastic glitz and glamour. All kind of fancy lies that you're busy digging your way out of right now. That's why the Lord has to send you back the fullness of the gospel. You unable to save yourself. Oh, Mr. Lawless One, Lucifer. So how can you save us if you can't? Save yourself. How can you save all those people that follow you, dragging on your coattail when you can't save yourself? Answer that for me. Then maybe I'll change my mind about the ending that I got at the beginning, which tell me your whole the business firmly decided. Children of Israel. Woe unto us, the sinners that followed him, Gentile, and even the Jews that his their teeth, ignore the message, and still go follow the Gentile, and Lucifer, and his wife Jesus, given unto you. Christ, Lord is saying he's the Christ, if something now is saying the Christ is a particular individual, the white Jesus, and it's the devil that sent it to you. And now you're getting back. That That's a lie. Let go of whatever Christ he's giving you because you're holding on to a lie when the Christ are here right now. On the fourth day, all those Christ shall rise up now. Indeed, we will wrathfully be destroyed with Lucifer, son of lawlessness, the shameless one, because we disobeyed the most high. Hela, ya, your head for who? Hela, and the Lord told Melchizedek, your head, wow. And 
the priest king that he sent, Lewis. And he also sent Levite with the knowledge to give unto you. And he sent Judah with the knowledge as well to give unto you. And you ignored every one of them. Disobeyed every one of them. And follow your own invention. Given unto you by son of lawlessness. But make sure you know. Make sure you know. Natural disasters with an S at the end, which follows the removal of the righteous, the Passover of the righteous within that seven years, halfway within it, halfway within it, that Passover is right. They got to be removed. And so you can face these natural disasters and these wrathful destruction. Coming your way. But we're not done yet. Apocalypse of Elijah. Fight. Lament. Lament. Crying. Bawling. Regret. Of the Antichrist. Son of lawlessness. Shameless one. Lucifer. And all his minions with him. And they shall chase down the righteous. Blaming the righteous for their downfall when they should have been blaming themselves because they're the ones who chose that path. And we have been sending messages weeks after weeks, months after months, telling them to abandon their foolish plan. Those plans won't work. You have already been given the ending at the beginning and the people, the people of the most High in their fallen state that you were using to manifest all the things that you have gathered up up to this point are gone. The saints and the elect are no back and their thought is bigger than all the ones you were using before and they can't outdo the saints and the elect and lowest our Christ priesthood. No way, those brains those thoughts can outdo the thoughts of light coming in at this time. Shameless one will weep, crying, 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 saying, Woe to me, woe unto me, because my time done. You hear me? In his own words, in his own words, my time done, done, done. Time done, children. So, I go back to telling you, if the Gentile has no power over you, their boss has no power over you as well. Because their boss know that in time. Done while I was saying my time would last forever. But it done, done, done. You hear me, children of Israel? Done, 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 done. Yes. Yes, that's your leader telling you his time done. I will perish together with your children of Israel. Make sure, make sure you do your best to pull whoever still following him, still following the Gentile. And if they won't listen, let them go down with him and go perish together with him. Because he's telling them, I am perishing and I'm going to let you perish with me. See? the people who rob that energy that I was getting from them and doing all my wickedness with their energy. Let's kill the righteous. Not no go so. Not no go so. Cannot happen. Bring up the saints. No, you cannot do that. Bring up the saints. No, the saints are protected fully by the most High and the Lord both for because of the saints, the earth America and the rest of the planet yield its fruits, its 12 regenerative saints. For because of the saints, the sun shine, the spiritual sunshine, and give that energy to your regular sun out there. Shine upon America. Because of the saints, the dew, the manna, the bread, the blessing will come on America. Yes, the sinners will weep. Everybody weeping. Lucifer weeping up there. They're weeping as well. Everybody crying. A big bucket of tears. Yes, they weren't crying when they were having fun. Leading up to 2020. And after 2020, when they see the thing getting sticky. And them, none of them, try to fix up themselves. Again, getting the message now. Fix up your house. Fix up yourself. Move away. From the son of lawlessness. Move away from those not telling you. You are the Christ. Go and work on being the Christ. Practice love. 
Reach out to your Lord. Put him back in your thought. Call upon his name. Listen to the messages that his prophets are coming with. The main prophet, priest king, Louis Jerome Armstrong, and the Levites, and the Judah, coming with messages, empowering you back to who you really are so you don't perish together with son of lawlessness. Children of Israel, sinners are weeping. Lucifer weeping. You made us hostile, Lucifer, to the word of the most. No, make sure you're clear it up for us. Hopelessness, he cannot do that, children of Israel. And sinners, he cannot do anything. His hands and foot are tied. He cannot do anything, sinners. The man is going down whether he try or not. And if you boot him up to go try, his fall is even greater. Rise up, Lucifer, and let's go after the saints. Why I went back here in Keys of Enoch to tell you that when he lands, he's going to go after the saints because the people are around him now, the world leaders, the cabal, and also the vicar of Christ, booting him up to make sure, go in front of them, try to frighten them, pretend that you're the big boss still, and maybe they will turn their thoughts back to you, Lucifer. But not the gossip. Time for the Lord and his people to take back control of this planet. Children of Israel, so with him fired up, gassed up by the people around him, he will take up his fiery wings and fly out after the set. But that won't work. Still a failed plan. Still a failing plan. Still a failing plan. Revelation 9 verse 18. Maybe he has better luck with the second part of his plan. The first part is to come with the flying saucer with this visit to chase down the saints and to boost up himself right now on you before your pillars of light come. He's going to come and try to puff up his chest. Puff up his chest and make it seem that he's still in control. That he's the man after man. The man after man. No, no, go so him and the world leaders know their time are done from top to bottom. Every one of them know it. Revelation 9 verse 18. That's his second visit. After the pillar of light come. And when the saints and the elect and the priest King Louis is off the surface of the planet. It's coming at that time. When you run off your mouth saying that, whoa, you're not doing this or doing that, he's going to set these 200 million of fallen angels on you to come make sure wild beasts shall be your grave. Wild beasts shall be your grave. Wild beasts shall be your grave. That's what he's sending these in for. Not only to subdue you, but to bolster up his army. So when the saints, the elect, and priest King Louis return, War on top of war, war on top of war to hold on to what you think he can do to turn this thing back in his favor. But guess what? Another failed plan. No, no, go so. No, no, go so. That plan will certainly and obviously fail from the beginning of the inception of it. Children, multitude of ghosts and demons, when he start up his second cross, rectangular and square cross. Last week I went over the fiery wheels, his flying saucers that is rolling in before your pillar of light, before your central sun, surrounded by seven spiritual stars, appear on your planet. Then after that, when he knows you have already left the planet, he's going to bring in his square and rectangular vehicles because the grid, the veil will be down and give him a chance with CERN as well as your fallen ones locked up in exile on your second moon. Hey, really? going to turn back on their connection to make sure that teleporting, channel, projection, pathway is set up to bring them in while you are not here. Children, multitude of ghosts and demons and wild beasts shall be the sinners who are left here with him on the third dimension now. Mother, third dimension, death. Coming their way, they're going to kill two-thirds of the population. I have to give it to you honestly, fairly, Accurately, so you know what is coming. And if you choose not to believe and not to listen, it is on you, son of man Lewis, and all my saints. 
warn the righteous and warn the wicked so their blood shall not be on her hand. Now, children of Israel, we went over 2 Baruch 27, verse 9, the 12 calamities, the 12 calamities, the eight of those calamities, multitude of ghosts and the appearance of demons coming through that portal that is drawing in all these ghosts and all these demons onto your third dimensional plane. It's also repeated in the apocalypse of Abraham 30, which tells you about 10 plagues, 12 calamities in 2 Baruch. It's called 10 plagues in the apocalypse of Abraham 30, verse 7. The seventh plague, wild beasts will be the sinner's grave. The unrighteous who are stuck here with him because they didn't believe and didn't practice love, didn't call upon the name of the Lord, didn't do anything that the Lord had recommended for them to do. So you're stuck with these fallen beings for those 12 months, children of Israel. I'm taking it slow for you because I have to walk you through patiently walk it through so you know you have your chance now to change 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 the path that you're moving down leave lucifer alone leave the gentile caucasians alone let them go do their things if they so choose because they are also promised to be numbered among israel israel mean all nations all nations Everyone, no matter what race, what color, will be part and can be part of Israel. Judah are the dark-skinned, brown-raised people. Levites, just the same. They're coming from the same stock of people. But Israel means all nation. Our priest king is coming for everyone, all nation, no matter what race or color. But predominantly right now, they are majority black people. Those are the ones that have bared all the suffering that son of lawlessness, son of lawlessness has handed down to the entire planet. He made sure the black people, the Shemite, get the most punishment. They are the only ones that could have thwarted his plan over the last 6,000 years. Children of Israel, the story of the blue kachina and the red kachina, we all heard of it. Now I'm going to give you the parts that deal with this opening of your grid and all these fallen angels coming in on you to make sure wild beasts is your grave, to make sure wild beasts is your grave and the appearance of demons and ghosts. Yes, some beings from other star systems. Some from past world. Some will even be created by man in an unnatural way. They will be soulless coming into your planet, flooding into your third dimensional plane. There will be those who will walk in the bodies that are not from your planet, your reality. Yes, all kind of strange bees coming in. Far many veils, many grids, many gateways that were once closed will be opened. Hear me, children of Israel. These gateways are opening to bring in all these things on your third dimensional plane. There will be many doorways to the lower world that will be open of the time. Second dimension, open all kind of red demon coming up. Again, appearance of ghost and demon on the second dimension. They have not yet, they have not yet reach the development to get a physical body, a physical body of their own. So when they're coming up, they're looking for a physical body. Hey! One that they can eject their soul from that body, fear gain. That's why they prep you with their COVID shot to make sure that you can be easily, your soul can be easily detached from the body. There will be many doorways open for these lower beings to come in. That's why I say there will be many strange bees upon the earth in those days, upon the entire planet, including America, in those days. Some from past time, some from your present time, and some you never, 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 never ever see. Yes, children of Israel, I'm giving it to you. You can take your time and read through it as much as you can because you have to know and knowing will help you to know that you need to prepare yourself to not be here when these things start to occur. We will house many spirits 
even within our bodies. Those spirits from lower worlds and some from the lower fourth dimension, some from the second dimension, some from the lower fourth will come in and try to kick your soul out of its body and take over that physical body. Come in. Wild beasts shall be their grave. Appearance of ghosts and demon. Yes, it's coming. Again, they are already on your planet. Many of these wild beasts are on your planet able to cloak themselves because the grid that's currently up and holding each vibration separately is now in place. That will be removed. So whoever is under a different vibratory field that was hiding themselves from you, you will be able to see them plainly. Children of Israel, two of them on your planet right now, running your entire planet. One with a snake head, one with a dog head. Did you hear me? One with a snake head, one with a dog head. So let's talk through them. Emerald tablet of those. Tablet number eight, the keys of mystery. Be we here. The serpent is living on your planet right now. Unseen he walk among you. He shall take the resemblance of man, but he is not a man. He's holding that vibratory field to disguise himself, to look like a man, but he has a serpent head. Children of Israel, let's jump to Cain. Let's jump to Cain. I just described Baal to you and Benelli, the serpent-headed people. Balim, Benelli, Bel, he's down here running up and down with his serpent head, disguising himself, putting an illusion around himself to appear as man to you. But he has a serpent head when the glamour is removed from him. When the glamour is removed from him. When the glamour is removed from him. Tia Belamet, Tia Belamet, Tia Belamet, Tia Belamet. Remove that glamour away from him, and that serpent head makes its way visible to you. So, that is Val. Let's talk about Kanai. Let's talk about Kanai, the man with the head of a dog. That's the other one, Cain. The man with the head of a dog, Cain. Everybody know where he is. He's running up and down in all these Mason and Freemason facility being worshipped and da 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 da. But he will become visible to you when the grid goes down. So no more hiding from you. Canny Bal. Canny but if you wonder where you get your meat-eating ideas from and your meat-eating frenzy and your meat-eating hobby from this to Chani Bal. Canai, which is Latin for Cain. Canai, which is Latin for dog. And that's an anagram. And it's an anagram for Cain. If you move around the N and the I, you get Cain in your Bible. That's how they coded it in your Bible. And Baal, when you put Canai, Baal together, cannibal, the flesh eaters that corrupted the children of Adam all the way down to your time. So, we're getting them out the building. Time for them to pack up their stuff, get their cap and their jacket, and go. But they don't want to go willingly until they break up the plumbing, the entire plumbing in the house. But we're going to rebuild the house anyway. Those plumbing are old, old as old can be, never to be used in a spiritual kingdom. So break up as much as you want. Makes no difference. Children of Israel, this is what they look like. Uncloaked, the illusion is removed. Cain on the left hand side, that's a cynocephali, the dog headed man. That's the cynocephali, the dog headed man. That is Cain. He's all over now in your United States. He's in the Caribbean as well. He's in Europe as well. He's in Asia as well, running his business. All cloaked up, hiding from you. And on the right hand side, it's the bell and the dragon. Bell and the dragon. Bell and the serpent. Yes, that's Benelli and Lucifer. When the glamour, when the glamour and the illusion are removed. That's what they look like. These will be coming into your vision soon. Children of Israel and those who decide they're going to be here when we lift the mask of them. People, 
of this planet. This is what is waiting for you when you do not listen to the instruction of the Most High. These folks are going to run in on you and take full control because they know there are no righteous saints and elect and our son of man not here. For 12 months to run a rescue mission for you children. Again, another pictorial description of these beings that are on your planet, fully cloaked up, cannibal, canai, which is dog, dog-headed man, and Baal, the serpent, the serpent-headed man, or Benelli, the serpent, the serpent-headed man. Yes! Again, they are going to be coming into your vision soon. So say as much as you want now. They don't exist. And da, 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 da. Make sure your heart's strong. You will promise hard failures when these beings, when these beings begin to appear and running on you. So, I'll call you one talk now. Only a few more months. All that talk is done. Children, we go back to the Hopi prophecy. There will be those who walk as ghosts through cities. Promise again, appearance of ghosts and demons. These ghosts are spirits looking for a body. It will appear painful as they walk step by step because they, when they find a body, turn that body into zombie. I've been telling you about Amazon preparing bodies, preparing minds for what is coming with these zombies. When these ghosts and spirits go into these bodies, take it over and walk, become painful. When you see them walking and dragging their legs, coming towards you. Children, some beings from this star system, some from past world, some will even be created by man. As I told you before, there will be many strange beings on your planet at that time. Well, folks, you're stuck here with them. You hear me, children of Israel. Let me give you now Amazon because, hear what? Hear me now. Son of lawlessness, the shameless one, has to inform you. You have to be informed of the things that he will be bringing, carrying in your direction, will be bringing to you. He has to tell you. It's called a karmic release that I gave them the information. They didn't get it and they did not make themselves prepared. So I'm not responsible for them. And when you miss the information, you didn't get it. And then the father said, they're all yours because they did not aspire to get that knowledge. So the knowledge didn't drop on them. Once you think that you want information, you think it, righteous information as well, it will come to you. Hear me, children of Israel. So he bring his stuff to you, his unrighteous information, because he's following, mimicking the law, the universal law. So in order for this cause and effect to not be on his account, on his bill, he makes sure he give it to you, but he gives it to you in very obscure, unnatural, not mainstream ways. Insert it in a dark corner if you're not searching carefully. If you're not searching carefully, you shall miss it. That's how he gives you information. Never up front on your mainstream media as he gives you all the other lie. Mainstream, but the stuff to save you hidden in the background. You have to go dig to find it and dig, 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 dig. And when you do find it, he said, whoa, no, no, no. It, it was a mistake. Hear me now. No mistake on this one. Amazon service agreement. Amazon service term agreement. Last updated July 27, 2022. You won't find it now because once we got wind of it, they pulled it down. Running it for many years. They decided, whoa, we don't need to put it anymore because too many people were getting the information and ready to pull themselves out of this system. Widespread. Viral infection transmitted by bites or contact with bodily fluid that causes human corpse to reanimate themselves, come back alive. A corpse is dead, so a dead corpse to come back alive and seek to consume living human flesh, blood, brain, and nerve tissue. 
and is likely to result in that 12 month in that 12 month of fall of organized civilization coming your way i'm going to read it now a little slower and a little bit more carefully so you get what he's planning your way this was posted on a platform that he's talking about to create programs software program game program all kind of different program you can use this free access software to do that it's called lumberyard so this is a software application to make other software from this application has nothing to do with zombies and all that stuff popping up where did zombie come from in lumberyard material software nowhere but he dropped it in there that's what he does he puts it in very obscure places and if you're not carefully checking you will miss it so he's saying if he's using this software to make any of these program automated transportation autonomous vehicle you're using the software to run autonomous vehicle aircraft air traffic control nuclear facility manned spacecraft or military use in connection with live combat so you can't use lumber yard for any of those stuff i just read off however this restriction of using lumber yard. So while people running around eating you or trying to eat you, you can use lumber yard. That's what he's telling you. The restriction that I just gave you for all these type of industries and purpose that you cannot use lumber yard for. However, this restriction does not apply in the event of the occurrence of a certified by the United States CDC. Again, CDC and this man running hand in hand. You know them by their work and who they associate themselves with. So if CDC said, we're going to implement zombie on the land where we have widespread viral infection transmitted by zombie bites or contact with bodily fluid. I don't know where that bodily fluid coming from. That causes human beings that are dead already to come back alive and try to eat their fellow man and fellow woman. That's what they're telling you. Lumber yard can be perfectly used to help you with this purpose of dealing with this. Where did that come from? You hear me, children of Israel? You hear me, children of Israel? Where is this coming from? That will likely to end the organized civilization that is ending anyway without the zombie in the picture. Ending by 2027. It has to done. Ending by the end of your seven year Passover. It has to be done anyway without a zombie episode. Children of Israel, but Amazon wrote it in their agreement terms agreement because they figured if you're using amazon here's the logic if you're using the amazon app to buy anything you will be given a chance to read the service agreement before you check the box that i have read it every time you download the amazon app you have to read through that service term agreement they give you a box to check that you have read through it and you agree. So they're assuming rightfully and erroneously that people have read all the terms that are in the agreement and they put it at 42 10. They didn't put it at number one. If you do decide you were going to read it and you're going to read the first page. It should have been at number one, but they put it down by 42. They know you will not get to 42. Most of you click without reading and you are agreeing to this zombie thing being part of your reality. So children of Israel, this is the level at which the lawless one and the shameless one has brought his lies upon the people that are planning to follow him. This is your reward that he has lined up for you. Zombie chasing your left, right, and center. Children of Israel, Amazon Road, a zombie apocalypse. Clause in your terms of service agreement. Why? 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 
That was the million dollar question back in 2016 when the people realized they put it in. Why? In Amazon terms of agreement in the section about lumber yard, they're putting in widespread infection and zombie eating human flesh and trying to drink your blood. Why Amazon have it in? It's up to them, but we know them by their works. Where did they get it from? Where did they get their zombie idea from? Who giving them instruction? Back in 2011, back in 2011, CDC, Center of Disease Control in the United States of America, release preparedness 101 zombie apocalypse. Zombie apocalypse. The term is ataxic neurodegenerative. Society deficiency syndrome. What that? What kind of rubbish is that? Give the people truth. Hear me no one then. Zombie disease coming your way. Yes. I say one more time. Where did Amazon get their brilliant zombie idea from? Back in 2011, CDC released. Preparedness 101, zombie apocalypse, zombie apocalypse, yes, children of Israel, Center for Disease Control of the United States of America, release preparedness 101, what do they know that we do not know? Yes, they came up with the term ataxic neurodegenerative satiety deficiency syndrome, as they call it. A N S D S. They call it A N S D S. A K. If you want to put it in simple language, disease X. Coming your way. That's the one they've been ranting and raving about. Coming your way shortly. CDC in on the action with Lucifer. The come spread scourge and virus upon your land. Campaigns run by Center for Disease Control and Prevention. No prevention. They're the ones sponsoring. Children of Israel, zombie preparedness, zombie preparedness. Yes, that's what they're busy running up and down, campaigning. What do they know that you did not know back in 2011? Hear me now and hear me well. Put on your sound mind, your father and the Lord though, giving you back. Your fullness of what these fallen ones planning. Hear me. Disease X. Hear me now. Disease X. Coming your way. Dress up as A-N-S-D-S. Dressed up as A-N-S-D-S. A toxic neurodegenerative satiety deficiency syndrome. Always giving you syndrome at the end. Anything with syndrome at the end is not for you, children. Remember they came up with AIDS. What's the ending S for AIDS? Syndrome for the children of Israel. But this one cannot work if you move back to the plan of the Lord. Don't Melchizedek, Jehovah, children. Hear me, no one hear me well. Yes, the medical side of the zombie at John Hopkins University. Studies done on this thing, children of Israel. They're serious about their business in the last time. It's coming your way. They've been telegraphing it since 2011. So, hear me now, children of Israel. A toxic 
non-degenerative satiety deficiency syndrome. Yes, fancy long name. It's an airborne virus that causes your brain to swell while you start to decompose and you get this craze to eat flesh. Children of Israel, these people are not joking around in their last go at it. Lucifer, not joking, he intend to take out two thirds of the people with his ataxic, non-degenerative, satiety, deficiency syndrome as one of the items to eliminate those who did not prepare themselves. So he's planning on swelling up your brain, decomposing your body, and make you crave flesh and blood. Hear me now, children of Israel. I'm making it loud and clear so you know this man is not joking, so you should not be joking at this time when it comes to his last great wrath. Children, what is disease X? That's what I just described to you. The atastic, non-degenerative, satiety, deficiency, syndrome. That's the name that they should give to it until now. When they hear my message, they might change up the name from ANSD to something else. But the symptom coming with disease X, just the same brain swelling while you're decomposing and craving flesh and blood. Children, what is disease X? Who World Health Organization health expert say it can be what? Deadlier than COVID? Coming your way, a deadlier pandemic may take the unaware by surprise. How do they know that? How can they plan it out so carefully and telling you way ahead of time? Because they have to warn you to get rid of their karmic release penalty. Hear me now. If they don't release the karma from you, they get the penalty. And if you don't release your karma and go back to the most high on the Lord, you're stuck with your karmic penalty when these jokers take you out. Who is still who research team is still not sure what can cause this frightening pandemic. How you know it's a frightening pandemic if you don't know what can cause it? Because the only cause is what you are bringing, given to the people. That's you causing it. Children, sound mind is back. Your Levite priests are back. No, your post. What is this easy? COVID expert. One, it could be what? Deadly a pandemic. How did they know that? Because they have it ready, waiting for the last wrath. Disease X is used by WHO as a placeholder describe disease that is unknown as a cause of human what? Infection. Cause. It is unknown at this time and we're setting a placeholder. We're not going to make it ANSD as yet. The ataxic, non-degenerative, satiety, deficiency syndrome as yet. Yes, we're not going to give it that name just yet. But we're going to come up with another fancy name. But it's the same thing. Everybody been warning you over and over and over. Cold disease X be the next source of the next pandemic that kill millions. That's the intent of it. They're giving you all the information that you need. Hoping that your Levites don't come and give you the spiritual warning and the spiritual proof and the precepts to go with it. Next danger is coming. A-N-S-D-S. -S. A toxic da 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 syndrome. Zombie syndrome. Short version for the name. Zombie disease coming your way, children of Israel. But we're not done as yet. Amazon told you. 
Amazon told you, CDC told you, CDC told you, their medical board, their medical expert, uh, John Hopkins, told you as well about this a toxic neuron degenerative satiety deficiency syndrome ANSD otherwise called the airborne virus that makes your brain swell while you're decomposing causing you to crave flesh and blood coming your way children of Israel they have you eating Flesh already and drinking blood because they did not tell you you shared the same DNA makeup and internal organs as the pig. They have you eating the pig, the flesh of pig, not telling you the pig is a human in a different form. If they want any body parts from you, if they want to study anything about you, they go to the pig. Pig is you and you are the pig. Same DNA structure, same internal organ, same, same, same. So you're busy putting that pig on the grill. You're starting off your own ANSD. So when they move in this disease upon you, you won't think twice. Yes, under the zombie influence to go eat flesh and drink blood. Who you think brought that to you? Cannibal, cannibal, cannibal. Setting you up for what's coming next. But the most I love the Lord say, go give my children the message. Children of Israel, oh, Isaiah 49, verse 26, I will feed them, those that oppress you, their own flesh. Coming their way. This is meant to capture the Gentile. This is meant for the Gentile. But the sinners among my people, the black people of Jacob, gonna leave himself ensnared in this thing. Yes, some of my Israel, some of my Levite, some of my Judah that lost their way will get captured in this ANSD. Yes, coming their way. I shall feed them, the Gentile, and my people that still break my law. And will listen to me. Yes, they shall eat their own flesh. They will be drunken with their own blood. What did your Amazon service agreement say? You will see a widespread viral infection transmitted via bites and by contact with fluid, mystery fluid that cause human corpse to come back alive, dead body to come back alive and seek to consume what? Living flesh and blood. Hear me. Same thing. Your Isaiah 49, 26 Telling you, I will let them go off and go eat their own flesh and drink their own blood from their own people because they did not listen. That I am telling them, famine and a deadly zombie plague coming on your land. Zechariah 11 verse 9 tells you just that thing. Then said the Lord to Melchizedek, I will not feed the famine coming your way because you did not listen and prepare yourself. Whether by spiritually or setting aside some food, has your Prince Louis been telling you to prepare yourself? 2024 is the year of preparation. You should be done. You should be done with all your preparation by September when your new year for your soul are kicking so you're not part of these two verses. Still on Zechariah 11 verse 9. I will not feed you that those that need to die, let them die. If you're deaf and won't take telling, yes, this is coming your way. And those to be cut off 
those to perish, those to be given unto Lucifer, Baal, Benelli, and all their zombie symptoms. Yes, let them be cut off. Children of Israel, I hope you get this message and you heed to the warning because thought is your savior. Thought is your savior and he's sending back your information so you shall know he wants to redeem you. Oh, Jacob, the black people starting mainly, majority, predominantly with you in the United States of America on the Holy Land, the redeeming land. Where the holy city, the holy pyramid is going to be functioning back again to you. So don't let these fallen ones let you miss your apartment with your kingdom. Make sure you get yourself ready. I'm going to give you all the things you need to do to get yourself ready. So children of Israel, I will not feed you. That won't be you because you will be getting your spiritual manner, your nourishment in the holy city of the 12 pillars of life. So you're not part of the dying group. Yes, you shall be gathered. You shall be redeemed. And you won't be cut off. And yes, this last one won't be yours. Let the rest that survive all this dying, let the rest eat everyone, the flesh of one another. Again, going back here, this insatiable appetite to start eating human flesh, keeping back onto you in your Bible. That's why the Lord said, go show my children. That is in their book. Children, let the rest eat one another flesh. You don't want to be a part of this zombie symptom coming up. They are not telling you the truth that they are gonna set loose. Plague on your land. So wild beast, so wild beast, so wild beast will be your death. They're going to set this thing loose and they're going to set loose demons and ghosts and elemental. Every trick in the book. They're going to lay on you. What here? They're coming up with all things they're going to throw at you. Children, hear me now and hear me well. I keep telling you about your karma. Karmic release, Keys of Enoch 205, verse 76. Karmic release can only come when the Father is petitioned to allow the wheel of time to attach itself to the wheel of light. You're going from darkness to light. You're going from darkness to light. Passover. That's the seven-year Passover. It has to be done. That wheel of light has to wheel itself on you by 2025. And you get another break to get that wheel back on your 2027. But if you do not survive that 12 months of all these things coming, then the wheel miss you. And you have to repeat class and school one more time. Kes of Enoch, 307, verse 66, four times of karmic penalty exists for you. If you don't clear all your karma by 2024, the end of this year, and I won't even push you that far, clear it up by September. If you're vexed with anyone, if you're upset with anyone, if you haven't feeling for anyone, forgive them. They don't have to be in front of you beside you or in the next room to you. You can do it within yourself. Forgive them, forgive them, or ask for them to forgive you. Right in your own space, right in your own thought. Forgive you or you forgive them and you move forward without holding on to that feeling that's gonna anchor you in your karmic penalty for sins, sins out of balance with my law. One of my law is love and love and love and love. So if you're carrying hate, feeling malice and all kind of different things in your thoughts, karmic penalty waiting for you. Four times food shortage, deadly plague. Coming your way, that's one of them. Wild peace showing up, Lucifer letting them loose on your planet. War, war, wars. See, he knows. 
That's the karmic penalty that you're going to have to clear. And if you don't clear it in time, these things are going to reach you. That's why he's making sure you got no food. He's burning down all your crops in the U.S., mashing up your factory, cutting off waterway line, all kind of different things to run your food short. So when your food is short, as it says here, I will not feed you because the Lord told you to prepare and you did not prepare. And at that time when Lucifer turned loose on the planet, I will not feed you. Let them go with Lucifer. I told them you cannot serve two masters and you're still riding up and down with Mammon, Lucifer and his money idea. You can't serve Mammon and the Lord at the same time. Let them go with him. So famine coming your way, that is your karma penalty number one. Deadly plague. That is his A N D S is a toxic not ta 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 zombie disease. Zombie plague is sending on your planet. He knows. That one is coming. And the next one, when the grid is open, when the veil is removed, he knows a lot of these from different planets, from different dimensions, different worlds coming in. That's the other karmic penalty coming your way if you don't move back to the Lord those and the most uh, Allah. The last one, wars, 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 civil war, world war, the war with the fallen angels. All these four things gonna kill off two thirds of the people. Did you hear me? All these four within that 12 months, two thirds of the entire population gone, gone, gone. Don't want you to be a part of that. I don't want you to be a part of that. So you get to the message. And if your thought so desire to get this message, this message is going to land in your recommended view, in your recommended view. Feed children of Israel, children of Gentile, children of Hamite, whichever one of you. This is going to land at your doorstep. Children of Israel, but we're not done yet. Charge it! I give you a blessing and a curse. You always have that choice. The blessing, serve the Lord with the most high as well, with gladness and with joy in your thought, and you get your blessing. Keep following Lucifer, Benelli, and Canaan, and the Goma Gentile Caucasian, and your curse stay fixed upon you. So here we go now. Blessing. Zechariah 8 verse 13 It shall come to your Passover 2024 to 2027 Thoth See again Thoth is in italics Thoth is in italics Thoth as we were A curse among the Gentile A curse among Lucifer A curse among Canaan A curse among Vicar of Christ A curse among Cabal Yes we were a curse But the house of Judah The house of Levi The house of Israel I will save you Make you now a blessing Turning a curse into a blessing. Now is your time. Now is your time. Fear not, Lucifer and his friends. Cabal, coming with zombie symptoms. Coming with angels that are fallen. Coming with wild beasts. Coming with ghosts and demons. No! Fear. We don't fear you now, children of Israel. Make him know that. Fear is not in the game. You are certain that your Lord, because you move back to him. And he says he's going to make sure you get that blessing. And the Lord cannot lie on the promise that he made. I make a promise to you of eternal life. And the Lord cannot lie in the promise that he made. Did you hear me? Cannot lie. So your promise is sure, rush, sure, rush, sure. No fallen one can let you fear them. Let your hands be on strong. Is your right hand on strong? That's your prince now. Coming to be your king. Is your right hand. Your right hand power. Your political power. Coming back. Your Levite power. Which is the right hand. The arm coming back. So that curse. A famine and deadly zombie symptom will not be yours. Zechariah 11 verse 9 will stay away from you. So, 
choose the blessing or the curse. Choose to turn your current curse now that Canaan, Balaam, Balim, Benelli had you under compliments of Kabbal, compliments of Kabbal, that is gone. It has been now switched to a blessing. Keep your blessing because you were promised that blessing, but you have to turn your thoughts back to the Lord. It just doesn't happen like that. You have to move back to the Lord and he'll move to you. Children of Israel, making it clear. Doctrine and covenant, 45, 30. Curse coming from the Gentile because they were ruling over you unrighteously, wickedly, no mercy on you. So at that time, when the Gentile, the Caucasian, especially those in the United States of America, their time has been fulfilled. Done! 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 2024. When that last X complete, your X marks the spot, your solar eclipse, which tells you the second arm of it is when your prince now become a king during that time. The first arm of it was when Jacob became Israel. When Jacob, the regular man, became prince. Israel, the prince, having power with man and with God. Now the second one, past April 8th, is when he's moving from Israel. Israel, the prince, to Israel, the king. That's a part of it coming your way. That by itself, that by itself, clearly, clearly send out all the signal to those who know that their time with a Gentile, vicar of Christ, Canaan, Dinele, Lucifer, they know their time done. Doctrine and covenant 45. 31 in that generation 2024 kicking it off the time shall not pass until they see an overflowing scourge 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 what is scourge what does that mean let me give you the one that pertain to what you are going to go through coming up shortly if you don't move your way back to the lord those famine and plagues famine and plagues has given unto you webster 1828 in the middle of your screen greatly afflict and harassed and destroy continued evil and calamities yes that's what lucifer coming with he's the master of evil and calamities so he's bringing that to you full time now when the lord said let them be yours if they are yours famine and plague a lot of evil for a desolating sickness shall cover the entire america and the rest of the planet hear me now you got your DVOC, your COVID, your COVID, spelled backward, that made your body ready, that made your body ready for all these spirits coming in, ready to occupy bodies, all these grotesque forms coming into your planet, looking for body, and yes, it made your body ready for the zombie symptom, for part two, which is disease. And then, to make sure item one, and item two are fully purged off the land. The sun heat, the sun energy, gonna turn up, turn up to make sure we burn up the wicked in item one, two, and three, and those who set this thing in motion to make sure one and two occur. Sun radiation coming. The sun will get extra hot, and it will scorch man. All of them that are wicked. Children of Israel. This is on its way. Scourge, desolating sickness. The disease X, which is also called the ataxic neurodegenerative society deficiency syndrome, ANSD, as they call it. Desolating sickness, sweeping the whole land. But we're not done as yet. I got to give you all your blessing and all the curse. So you have choice and decision to make. So... You're making your decision to move back to the Lord those and what he's telling you to bring yourself back into harmony with Isaiah 
49, 22 shall be yours when all of this is over, 2027. Did you hear me? When it's done, 2027. That's a time limit they have on their gray wrath. Oh, the Lord told said, Behold, I will lift up my hands to the Gentile, and it's not a meet and greet. It's a deadly hand of Sabaoth. Sabaoth coming to make sure the Gentile are expelled of the land, cleared of the land, and moved back into their rightful position as your servant and handmaid. As your servant and handmaid, my Gentile, your priest, your religious leader, and all your pastors, and whoever not translating the Bible properly for you, because it's not within them, they did not get the keys to translate the Bible, because they don't tell you who is who in the Bible, and if you don't know who the Bible is talking about, you won't know who, who is getting blessing, and who is getting cursed, so... Go back to your Gentile. Genesis 10, verse 2 to verse 5. It tells you the line of Japheth, they are belonging to the Isle of the Gentile. Japheth, if you do some search, you'll find that Japheth is the Caucasian one. The one that called himself white at this time. Even though he's not white, his skin isn't white, and the spiritual reason for white is still not him. It says pure, free of sin, and that's certainly not him. But it does mean the Gentile are Caucasian. So, knowing that, and I'll put the proof up as I'm speaking to you. I will lift up my hand against the Gentile and set up my standard to the people, my people, Jacob, the black people. They're going to be the last one to be saved. A remnant of them will be saved. But this starts first with the Levites. Those are the priests coming from the Most High and the Lord. And then Judah, that's his great black army. Levi are his black priests. They're in the U.S. right now. And Judah as well is in the U.S. They're both black people firmly established. Everywhere you turn, he tell you Judah is the proud rest. They're dark-skinned people. They're not no Caucasian. We're going to deal with the fake one that stole Judah's identity when Judah was dead and asleep. Yes, those are the people I am setting up a standard with. They shall bring your son in their arms. That's a Gentile. That's the role they're going to be reduced to. Your handmaids and your servant. Isaiah 14, 1 and 14, 2. This is just elaborating now on exactly how they're going to serve as your handmaid and servant. Shall bring your sons in their arms. They shall take your daughter and carry her on their shoulder. You hear me? They shall bring your son in their arms. Gladly pick him up and carry him on their your daughter. They shall be carried on the Gentile shoulder as a princess. That's coming your way. So you can miss that opportunity if you want. But many of us want to see this after Isaiah 49, 22. Firmly decided. Or you can go to Isaiah 49, verse 26. I will feed them that oppress me. Their own flesh. Who's oppressing you now? The Gentile Caucasian. Hear me now? So let's talk it out the way it should be. I will feed the Gentile Caucasian that oppress you with their own flesh. So if you want to join them, continue hanging on to them and committing the sins they're telling you to commit, which is breaking your father and the Lord's law. This is for the Gentile. Making it clear. So you're going to join them if you so choose because I'm giving you the blessing information and the curse and you choose if you want to continue running behind the Gentile hotel because it tell you in Isaiah 49, 22 who it's talking about. The Gentile, the Caucasian, especially those in America and the rest of the world. We're going to get to them soon. Children, own blood drinking, 
own flesh eating, coming up for the Gentile, because I will not feed them. They'll become hungry in their hiding place when their civil war start and when their world war come, when Russia, China, Iran drop on the land of America. Yes, more flesh eating. And yes, when Lucifer and his fallen angel army come to America, food, food shall be flesh. That's when the attack da 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 a n d s will set loose on the planet zombie apocalypse children of israel those are the lord those are the lord those are the lord the savior the redeemer the mighty one of jacob that means it's jacob you jacob you will not be eating your own flesh you will not be drinking your own blood if you go back to the lord those you hear me? Go back. Go back to the Lord. Go. I'm going to keep telling you over and over until you get the message. Go back to the Lord. Go. The mighty one of Jacob. Israel is the offspring of Jacob. Louis, which is Israel, came from the line of Jacob. And Louis is a black man. So Jacob must be black people. That's you. This is waiting for you as you're blessing the Gentile carrying your kids on their arms and their shoulder and you watch the Gentile eating one another in whatever hiding place they're hiding because the Lord has saved Jacob but when not done as yet our maids and servants, the Gentiles, all the kings and queens are sitting now up in Buckingham Palace, all over the world, wherever the Gentiles set themselves up. As kings and queens, whether Harry or Philip or whatever name they give themselves as of lately, makes no difference. Isaiah 49. Verse 23, and the kings, all of the kings with the S at the end, shall be your nursing father, and their queens, your nursing mother, the Gentile, your handmaids and servants, shall bow down to you. Did you hear me, children of Israel? This is coming. Yeah, well, so let loose. The Gentile, because the Gentile has no power over you. The Caucasians got no power over you. They, their mightiest of their mightiest, their world leaders and their world mistresses shall be your nursing father and take care of you. And the nanny, you hear me, children of Israel, they shall bow down to you. Hear me? They shall lick the dust of your foot. Your literal foot and your economic. Whatever scraps you got left, you shall give it to them. Yes! Coming your way. So if you want to give that up to go eat flesh and drink blood, children of Israel, children of Jacob, children of Judah, children of Levi, put on your soul behind this is waiting for you. Wait for me. Wait for me. Wait for me. Said the Lord, don't Melchizedek, your head. What? Sure. I sure. This will come to pass. Children. Love 21. Verse 26. Right back where we started. Men's heart. Women's heart. Will. Fail coming your way when you see what's occurring on your planet and in the heavens at the same time. But my people, but my elects, my saints, on Israel, the righteous seed shall stand, stand, stand in the holy land. Not the wrath, the twelve pillars of light, and your not the wrath. One on the east coast by Florida. You hear me? Bimini, Bermuda Triangle. One on the west coast, California and Mexico. That's your next one. You shall not be moved. Stand firm. Stand firm. 
children of Israel, you shall not be born. But the Gentile and the wicked men and Israel, Jacob, Judah, Levi that did not move back to the word of the Most High and continue to break the Most High law shall stand there with their curse and curse the Lord for what an unfortunate way much and die children of Israel are making it loud children 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 are made it Loud and clear as it can be. Children, get back your sound mind. Blessing coming for you, waiting for you. You've been waiting, many of you, 400 years. And your generation on top of generation, many of you have been waiting for 70 years when your full power got turned off in 1954. And your 70 years done in 2024. And time for your priest king to get his mitre put back on his head and his lowly garment thrown out and his garment of life put back on his body and wake you up said princes time to go to work firmly giving back unto you your blessing Zechariah 1 verse 3 your curse Zechariah 11 verse 9 children Hear me now on this one. Make sure you're listening on this one. The instruction is simple and plain. Simple and plain. From the Lord told Melchizedek. Turn you to me. Simple. And I will turn to you. Simple. You hear me again. You hear me again. Make sure you remember this. Anything else you get from this message. Make sure you remember this. Turn to me and I will turn to you. Say the Lord. Simple as what it is. Turn your thoughts to me. Start calling upon me. My right name. Thoth, Melchizedek, anyone who call me by my name, no Lord, Lord title, by my right name, Thoth, Melchizedek, Yahweh, Adonai, I will turn to you, I will turn to you, I will turn to you. That's the message and the instructions I'm giving back to you. You turn to the Lord told, and the Lord told will turn to you. That is your blessing. That is your blessing. It can't get any more riching than that one. It can't get any more rich than that one. Your blessing. Turn unto me, and I will turn unto you. Return to me, and I will return to you. Just the same. Remove the curse of you. Zechariah 11, verse 9. I won't let you die if you turn back to me. I won't leave you cut off if you turn back to me. No flesh of another you eat that. When you turn back to me, I will turn back to you. Simple, simple, simple. Children of Israel, get back your sound mind. Your blessings are lining up for you. This is your time. You wait long enough under struggles, oppression, fighting against you, turning your neighborhood upside down with all kind of drugs, crime, politics, all kind of robbery in your church, robbery in your bank, robbery in your neighborhood, robbing your blood, giving you unequal chances to make it and survive and you survive till the end don't give away your blessing to the gentile you know what's coming for them know what's coming for them and know what's coming for you and turn yourself to what is coming for you children two curse line up for the gentile you hear me lined up for the gentile don't be a part of these I will not feed you as I showed you. Coming for the Gentile, no food. When I cut off the Gentile Caucasian food, let them die. Let it be cut off. Let them be cut off. And let the rest of them eat the flesh of one another. 
coming because they were the oppressor working for the vicar of Christ, working for the cabal, working all the way up the chain to Canaanite and further up the chain to Benelli and all the way to the top, Lucifer and fallen angel put them in charge over you. Lamentation 5 told you who they were. It says you at that time when it was written were being run and ruled by your servants. It says servants, my servants rule over me. Who is ruling over you now, leading up to this time? The Caucasian, the Gentile. So your servants were ruling over you. That's why I told you earlier that your servants now are going back to being your servant. The father's going to nurse your kids, and the mother's going to nurse your kids, and you shall be the king and the princes, and you shall be the king and the princes, and the anointed one of the planet, and they shall serve you. Coming back to that. Isaiah 49 tells you, and Isaiah 14, 1 and 2 told you, after the war is done, Russia is going to take some of the Caucasian, the Goma Genta, back to the cold part. And they, the ones on the left, will be your handmaid and your servants. No mistake, no misinterpretation, no clarity needed, because the Lord made it known to his Levites. Firm, as firm can be. So... Zechariah 13, verse 8, in all the land at your Passover time, when your Passover is done, 2024 to 2027, thought, again, thought, that is in italics. That is in italics. Again, telling you, it's thought name to be inserted there. Thought in all the land, saith the Lord. Thought in all the land, saith the Lord. Two parts shall be cut off with the people. Not for you, children of Jacob. Not for you, children of Israel, the righteous people of the planet. Not for you, Levi. Not for you, Judah. Only if you stiff neck and stubborn and don't want to listen to the commandment, the instruction of the Lord. Two thirds. Of the people shall die, shall be cut off, shall be destroyed, shall be killed. Did you hear me? But one third shall be left of the remnant. Firmly given back to you to let you know what is coming when your civil war comes, when your world war comes, when your fallen angels come, and when the destruction, the natural disaster of the planet come as well, the earthquake and the magnetic pole shift come. Two thirds shall die, one third shall be left to seed the new world, the new world, the new kingdom, the new planet. I see a new heaven and a new earth coming down and the old one was no more and the sea, which is Europe, was removed, meaning it gone. Did you hear me? The sea, Europe, gone. I'll leave that right there for now and I'll tackle it later on when you're ready for the rest of the message on that. Children, two-thirds going and you're getting this message now to get yourself ready so you're not part of that two-third and you can walk and you can walk in your kingdom. Yes, spiritual kingdom. Yes, and you can be part of the new spiritual kingdom. It told unto you in second Ezra, this present world which Lucifer and his friends, his minion, mash up, mash up, destroyed, was made for many. But the new world, the spiritual kingdom that I am setting up for Jacob is only for a few gave it unto you in second Ezra and yes second Ezra 6 first line tell you this world the present one was made for Esau go my gentle Caucasian but that one is gone and going and gone but the second one Yes, he's made for Jacob. And Jacob, given unto you. Yes, has given unto you. In Obadiah. Yes, Jacob shall inherit the entire planet. Jacob shall possess his possessions. 
Firmly decided! Firmly decided! Revelation 9 verse 18. It tells you the same thing. As Zechariah 13 verse 8. Yes, by these flying craft, this queer and rectangular flying craft that they teleporting, that they teleporting in on the planet, a third part, one third of men were killed. You hear me? Did you hear me? One third they're gonna kill. One third they're gonna kill with this event. Plus. The war, civil war, world war, world war. Two thirds shall be gone, one third shall survive on these square and rectangular vehicle coming with wild beasts that they're gonna set loose on your third dimension plane. Yes, coming to take out one third, the other two thirds will be taken by the civil war, the world war, the earthquake, the sun radiation, the magnetic pole shift. Yes, the whole thing dwindling down. Curse of the blessing. Which one you want, my children? Children of Israel. Zechariah 1 verse 3. Line of fire. I say unto them. You turn your thoughts back to the Lord told. Melchizedek, your head walk. And the Lord will turn his thought, his thought, his thought back to you. Turn to me, and I'll turn to you. Amos 9, verse 10. My people of Israel, Jacob, Judah, yes, all the sinners of my people, my people of Israel, my people of Judah, my people of Levi, my people of Ephraim, my people of Jacob, that decide they're not going to listen. Stiff neck, stubborn, backsliding, firmly fixed in idolatry, evil, wickedness, breaking my law, Running behind the gentle Caucasian. Busy following Lucifer. Busy following Lucifer. And his lies, his evil, his wickedness, and his enticement. No, that you shall die by the sword. And if you survive the sword, you're certainly not going to survive the wild beast. And yes, demons and ghosts coming in rectangular, rectangular spacecraft coming your way, my people. Blessing that's waiting for you. Blessing that's waiting for you. Turn back to the Lord and he will turn to you. Children of Israel, my people, I'm spending time on you because this day, all of what is occurring is coming for you to make sure you're free and you inherit your inheritance. So, if you want to give it away and still go run back a Gentile, run back a vicar of Christ, run behind Canaan, run behind Benele, run behind Lucifer, I advise you not to because Lucifer already declared his time done. Don't attach yourself to a wagon running off the cliff. Isaiah 49 verse 25. Save the Lord, even the captives of the mighty army of Esau, Goma Gentile Caucasian. That army, no matter how much you see them flexing themselves now, we're gonna send this battalion over to Israel to settle up what's going on in the Middle East. How we're gonna send this to Ukraine, how over here to Taiwan. Yes, that's a fancy full idea, but it won't work that mighty army. I will take off your land of America, a Caucasian, 
Coma Gentile. Ah, being expelled and removed. Trading out of America. First, when Gog and Magog, Russia, China, visit America shore, America land, 2026. Yes, sure as sure. Yes, and when Russia and China come and believe they're going to fix themselves firm in America for long-term plan, not no go so, not no go so, nothing goes as such that prey shall be delivered to King Louis, Messiah, praise King Louis, coming back from the ocean with the Levite and Jordan coming off the land as well. They getting evicted as well. It's well, all the Gentiles, no matter which part of the Japheth line them come from, coming off the land. I will save the children of Israel. Judah, Levite, Ephraim, Jacob. Move back to the commandment. Turn yourself back to the Lord and Isaiah 49, 25. Sure as sure, come into your... My people, yes, I tell you. Isaiah 49, verse 26. I shall feed them that oppress you. Fear, own flesh, their own blood. Coming their way, all flesh shall know those, all the people, whether man, hybrid being, reptilian head, dog head, or any kind of head they got, wild beasts, and all the ghosts, and demons, and elemental, shall know those. I, the Lord, am there. I'm the savior of the house of black Israel, of black Israel, and Jacob. Coming your way to redeem you. Arise, priest King Louis. Arise, Levite. Arise, Judah. Arise, Israel. Remove Jacob from all his sin and expel and cleanse the Holy Land of America, of all the Gentiles. And any demons, beasts that they come with and decide they want to leave on the land, cleansing them all. The mighty one, yes, the mighty one of J. Cut. Children, all of this that's going on from the civil war down to the end when the planet split open all the way to the end when the planet split open with the magnetic pole shift. All of this is for you, children of Israel. You hear denunciation against the oppression of Israel because they oppressed you did all they need to do over the 400 years and for the last 70 years, they turn it up and you conglomerate everybody planning against you and making sure you stay, stay fallen. Don't realize who you are. So all of this is coming back to them. Karma, as I told you, the karmic penalty is coming back to them. Whosoever did unto you knowingly penalty coming their way. Fourth book of Ezra, second Ezra 15, the caption said, denunciation for what they did against the children of Israel, Levite, Judah, Jacob, let America mourn. That's coming their way. Your foundation, your beginning, that you start out with, enslaving the children of Israel that were on this land. Black people were here on the land already and you send over other black people to come subdue them, Lucifer. And then when you get tired of the Judah that you sent against the people that were here, you change it over to the Caucasian. Last 70 years, 
the Caucasian been running up your business and doing all kind of wickedness, even more wicked than the Judah that came before him. Sir, the foundation was wrong and you didn't change your foundation leading up to 2024. So plague, plague, one of the karmic penalty coming your way. Plague of chastisement and punishment. I will bring upon you farmers still in the ground, but no seed, bearing no fruit, none of vegetable, no food. Food shortage. That's the other karmic penalty. Pestilence. Scourge on the land. Pestilence. That's the other one. Scores and scores of pestilence. Demons coming up next. Hell and terrible. Tempest. Earthquake as well. Coming to mash up the land and the magnetic polar shift coming as well. Let the entire world, let the entire world know that we are denouncing what you did against the children of Israel. That's why for the next three and a half years, all of this penalty coming to America and the rest of the planet. Thoroughly fixed and ready and waiting for them. Isaiah 49 verse 23. Waiting for you, children of Israel, children of Jacob, children of Levi, children of Judah. If you so want the blessing, you shall see all the Gentiles, their kings and their queens, their world leaders, president, premiers, emperor, governor, prime minister, all big politicians, you see now, becoming your servant. That's the man. Becoming your servant, the Caucasian, up in that categories that I just gave you. Becoming your servant, your butler, tending to your children. Coming your way. And the queens, they've been exalting above everybody. Yes, the queens, become your handmaid, nanny, nanny. Coming your way, tending to your children as well. That's why Isaiah, that's why Isaiah 14 verse 2 tell you they're going to be your handmaid and servant. So read the rest of it to see that they'll be bowing down their faces to the ground when they see you. Because you are you are you are the esteemed at that time and they can't look you in the eye. They got to look down on the ground and humble themselves in humility. They will lick up the dust off your feet. You hear me? They'll be serving you full time as your handmaid and your servant waiting for you. Habakkuk 2 verse 3. The vision is yet far and apart. Yet coming your way at the end. The vision shall speak, speak, speak. Vision coming. I'm going to speak loud to you and not Lie! Telling you, come in your way. So if you want to waste your opportunity, go following your handmaid and servants now and let them lead you astray. Yes, you shall miss this. Wait for it. Same thing given unto you in Isaiah 49 verse 23. Wait for me. I will let the vision come through because it is sure, as sure, it will come firmly decided. It will not tarry. Not going to wait. Not going to be delayed or postponed or put off until Lucifer think it should happen or the Gentile Caucasian think it should happen. No, no, go so. It shall firmly decided. Coming your way, children of Israel, Levite, Judah, Ephraim, Jacob. Now all of you, turn your thoughts back to the Lord those and the words of the Lord those that is sending with his priest king and his saints, his Levite and his elect, Judah. Turn your thoughts before I destroy this planet and rebuild it with the righteous seed. I'm giving you a chance to get rid of your stumbling blocks and get the fullness of the gospel, the fullness of the truth, the fullness of the law. 
let go. Your false prophet that you have acting as the Judah at your time. It's really Judas. They are. They're acting as false prophet. Whether they black or whether they white or whether they Asian or whether they Indian. Whatever. They are coming now with religion organized. They're false prophet right off the bat. False prophet, the most high, not sending any of his Levite back in the church. You hear me? They're coming, standing alone, standing alone. Father most high, not coming with no thrills, not coming with no cheap thrills, and no glitz, and no glamour. When you receive that fullness, you shall get that seal of the most high in your forehead and begin to prepare yourself. And now you prepare yourself. Turn your thoughts back to the Lord and he shall turn his thoughts back to you. Children, you can get the blessing or the curse, but I'm giving you the blessing now. I'm focusing on that. Same portion, 70, verse 68. But the Lord shall not destroy the earth, America, with all the penalties, the karmic penalty coming to America until the righteous been given a chance to change their path. That is what repent is. Change your path from the sinfulness. Sin is breaking the law of the Most High. Being out of balance. Lack of harmony with the Most High law. And turn your thoughts back to the Lord and the Most High. It keep telling you over and over. Turn your thoughts to me. Turn to me. And I will turn to you. Crystal clear. Always coming back that way. You got to move back to the Lord. Start thinking about the Lord. Start praying to the Lord in the morning, at night, and in the afternoon as well. Pray to the Lord. Especially at this time when Lucifer running rampant, setting himself up to set loose ghosts and demons and wild beasts on you and flying vessels with all kind of laser gun. Deuteronomy 30 verse 2. You shall return to me. Say up the Lord. Turn to the Lord. You shall obey my voice that I am sending with my priest king, Louis, 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 and my Levites that are telling you all the law that you need to move back to, that the most I put in the book of truth, the book of love, giving it back to you. Some of them might not go with where you're planning on sending yourself in these last times, but you make sure you pull your handbrake up and go back to those law and don't follow Lucifer and the vicar and the Roma Gentile Caucasian off no cliff. Hear my voice according to all the commandments I have given you this day gonna get some this day and I've been giving it to you every day that I come and give you a message you are my children bring back your heart and your soul to me turn your thoughts back to the Lord turn your soul connect yourself back spiritually to me telling you over and over Deuteronomy 30 verse 3 don't then the Lord, your netter, will turn away every captivity. Lucifer of your hand, Benelia of your hand, Canaan of your hand, Vicar of your hand, Roma Gentile Caucasian of your hand, the Cabal, hidden hand, have your will. Turning back every single one of them. And at this time, when all debts have to be cashed in, all debts have to be paid off by them, yes, they have to let you free. They have to let you go. Have compassion on you. That's what I will do as the Lord. I will show you my love and my kindness, my blessings, my charity, my pardoning you of all your previous sin and will return to you. Over and over. I will return to you if you shall return to me. Return to me. Turn your thoughts back to me. Turn your hearts back to me. That's what it means. Connect back your soul with me. Think about me. Pray to me. That's what that means. 
connect your soul, your soul through your spirit, your soul through your spirit and your prayer connect back to the Lord. Return with your thought. Return with your prayer. And I shall return to you and remove every captivity that you're in and gather your 12 pillars of light. I am setting upon your entire planet for on the land of America. Gather you before all these karmic penalty begin to play out on America and the rest of the planet. Children, Hosea 14 verse 1 again. Return to the Lord. I am telling you over and over. Return to the Lord. Children, Israel, return to the Lord. Return to the Lord. You are in a fallen state right now. Return to the Lord. Return to the Lord. Jeremiah 4 verse 1. Again. Thou shall return, if you shall return, if you shall return. Israel, talking to you. Jacob, I'm talking to you. If you shall return, my black people, in America especially, and the rest of the planet. If you shall return to me, return unto me. If you will put away all the evil, the sins, the, all the wrongs you're doing. Oh, my Gentile, busy, giving you all kind of enticement that he got from Vika, and Vika got it from Canaan, and Canaan got it from Benelli, and who's writing the script for all of it? Lucifer! Tell you already that he's done, but him still writing information, sending down to you. Yes, put away those abominations. The Lord see it. No matter how dark the place is that you did all your evil, the Lord see it anyway. There is no dark in the fifth dimension. Then I shall not remove you if you put away your sins and return to me. None of the karmic penalty, those four of them will reach you if you return unto the Lord. Put away those sins. Don't let them happen again. Don't do any more inequity. Don't break the most high law anymore. You shall be ready. Yes, second Ezra 16, verse 67. I spent some time on this last week. Let me slow it down for you. This is how you start to move your thoughts back to the Most High. The Most High, the Lord, and the Most High, Ella, are the judge. They're the ones who present to you the blessing and the curse. You judge, you choose. That's what the judge is. You make a choice whether you want to do good or you want to do evil. Fear the Lord. Respect Him. Respect Him. Respect Him. Stop your sin. Sin. Breaking the law. Unbalanced with the law, lack of harmony with the laws of God. He gave you five divine laws. I went over those last week. The ones that I want to concentrate on is he give you the five divine laws, but you have to operate every law with love. You hear me? Love. Go back to love. Love the Lord and the Most High with all your thought. Turning your thought back to the Lord and the Most High and with all your soul through your prayers. 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 That's how you get it done. You move your way back to the Lord and then love your fellow man and your fellow woman, your brothers and your sisters, all the people around you, regardless of color, or race, or country. Love them as you would love yourself. Do unto them only the things that you would want them to do unto you. Those are the two fundamental, foundational, basic law that you use to operate your five divine law. Move back to those two basic and your five divine law come onto you, fit onto you like a glove. Remove yourself from those sins that you've been doing to break the law. You know when you're breaking the law and you go back to love, love, love. That will always fix you back on the law. And number one, one, that you need to make sure you are practicing. You're on your five divine law. Law five about your food. No meat. No flesh, because they're turning you into cannibal and making sure you're breaking your covenant, your contract, your agreement with the Most High and the Lord. Your agreement specifically bar you, exclude you, specifically tell you, you cannot eat no flesh, no meat, whether from things that fly, things in the ocean, or on the land, or underneath the land that have flesh. You cannot eat Flesh, 
That's the foundation for your five divine law, the fifth one. Once you don't break that one, you're on the covenant, the contract, the agreement, and whatever the Lord and the Most I say they're going to do for you, they shall do it because you're honoring your end of the agreement. So they must honor their end of the agreement. And with that, turn your thoughts back to the Most High and the Lord. Turn from breaking the law. Feel the regret. Change your mind, which is change your thought. Never do them again. After you realize, after you have determined how you're breaking the law, move back into harmony with that law. Never break it again. Not at this time. 2024, when you only have a few months before the karmic penalty he set loose on this planet. Children, I will deliver you. I will deliver you. If you go back to my law, never commit any breaking of my law, and I will lead you and deliver you, save you, redeem you, make sure you're safe from those four. Penalty, karmic penalty, karmic for all those who were oppressing you and afflicting you. Children, go back to the most high law. Go back to love, the basic law. Go back to stop eating your flesh. Give up the flesh, no matter which one. Every meat you can think of. It's cannibal. Cannibalism. And they're making you break your covenant. That's why I told you in First Maccabees that the Maccabeans, they rather to die than to eat the meat that the Pharaoh, the meat that the Greeks were trying to make them eat to make them break their holy covenant. And they said, no, we're not eating that meat and break the holy covenant. That's how important the meat eating, that's how important the meat eating is. You're not supposed to eat it because you're breaking your covenant. You're eating things that are sacrificed to Baal. And Canaan, that's what you're eating. And they have you busy doing that, knowing that you're breaking your law, but you do not know. But your Levi priests are back telling you what you were doing and where you went wrong. So, all of you now that did all these things, breaking the law, here is your fresh start. Especially those, those now, listen to me. Listen to me carefully on this one. Those who during the time of COVID pandemic went out and took shots, took injection, took vaccination for COVID, whether one shot and booster shot or whatever shot. Listen to this part carefully. This is your way back because you broke the most high law on medicine. The most high made it clear in Ezekiel 47 12. Ezekiel 47 12 that the leaves of the trees that I give you as your food. The leaves shall be your medicine. Only leaves shall be part of the medicine. Your food is your medicine and your medicine your food. So the leaves of those food that you're eating is your medicine. Specifically said in your book, in your book of law, it also gave you another version of it in your New Testament, Revelation 22, 2, that the herbs is for the healing of the nation, starting with the nation of power, the children of Israel. Herbs! So you broke the most high law when you go out and do pharmaceutical for your sickness, for your sickness. It didn't say anything about the pharmaceutical you should take. In fact, it said, take as much of the pharmaceutical as you want to take and you will not be cured. Is there no herbs in Gilead? That's what was asked of you because in Gilead, they removed the herb. Gilead is in central Florida. There's no herb because they moved the herb. So you have to go find herbs separately and follow the most high law. Use herb to heal yourself. But you took the vaccination and now you have to go back and do a supplication. All of you that been breaking the most high law, whether you're eating meat, whether you're fornicating, FFFing, like it's going out of style, whether you're practicing evil thoughts against your neighbors, your friends, your family, whatever you've been doing, keeping yourself in anger, hate, jealousy, malice, 
Yes, all of you. You have to go back and supplicate to a supplication. What is a supplication, you might ask? It's to pray to God, turning your soul back to the Lord and the Most High. Pray, that's a supplication. To pray to God, to pray to the Lord, to ask humbly. You got to come humble. Get on your knees. Get on your knees. Bow on your knees and pray to the Most High. Pray to the Lord. Ask earnestly, earnestly, eager to obtain with importunity, meaning it's a rush, my Lord. Give me back that blessing. Give me back that washing of my sinfulness. Give me back strength to make sure I do not commit them anymore. Give it to me. That's how you go to the Most High. Humble, but earnestly, persistent in your demand from the Lord. Persistent in your demand from the Lord. Persistent in your demand from the Most High. That's how you make your supplication to the Lord. Job made his supplication. It's in your book to show you how you can do yours. And what happened when you do a supplication? Job 8 verse 4. The children of Israel have sinned. We all have sinned. Some of us found out that we're sinning, moved back to the right way before some. But everyone is now being given an opportunity to make that turn around, as they call it in your Bible, repent, and they call it on the street, and in your church, repent, but they're not telling you what repent is. Repent, turn away from sin. Turn away from breaking the law. Changing your way, amending your way, make a positive change, make a correction of the way and the thing that you have been doing. Feel that regret that, whoa, I know I broke the law. Most I am going to go to my most I and my Lord and say, listen, I am sorry for doing it. I'm not going to let it happen again. Guide me now to make sure I stay on the path. And then you change your thought, whatever those things that were causing you to think these things, get them out of your space. Get them away from you. That's how you know that you're ready for your supplication. You're ready to do those things. I have sinned against you, my Lord. I have sinned against you, most God. Cast them away that he did. You moved away from him. So he moved away from you because you were busy sinning. And they're not going to stand right next to you and par with you and hang out with you while you're sinning. That's Lucifer's department. So the most I left you. He gave you a bill of divorce. The Lord gave you a bill of divorce and said, yeah, go stay with Lucifer. I am going to be over here. When you're ready to come back, my arms are wide open waiting for you. So you have to do. Job 8 verse 5. Seek the Lord. Turn your thoughts back to the Lord. Be kind. Speedily. Speedily. Do it. As soon as possible, 2024 is the last year you get to run around in your sinfulness and don't get punished. 2025, punishment kicking in. Make a supplication to the Lord God. Mel Chesedic, your head walk, Adonai, I'm the most high. Hey, yeah, your head walk, hey, hello, well, make the supplication. Go to the Lord and pray to the Lord. Pray to the Most High. Ask humble. Get on your knees and pray to the Lord. In the morning, at night before bed, and in the afternoon, pray. You're going to pray and pray because you're asking earnestly, eager. Most High, I'm going to knock on this door until you answer the door and let me in and give me back my blessing. That's what it's called importunity urgent demand for you to be forgiven of your sins and move back to the blessing get off the curse let whoever want to stay on the curse stay over there so what happened when you make your supplication the reward the blessing after your supplication job 8 verse 6 you were pure you move back to the law. Surely I will awake for you. Surely the Lord will awake for you. Surely the most I will wake up for you. Yes, they will. And make your habitation, your dwelling place, your life, your things that are happening in your life, in the space around you. Make it prosperous coming your way righteously prosperous place being built for you right now so 
this new kingdom that's coming. It's a kingdom of righteousness where it's only going to be prosperity. So don't you think if you do your supplication now, it's going to line you up to be in that prosperous new world of righteousness? Yes, yes, so sure and sure, your reward shall be given back unto you once you do your supplication. Ask for forgiveness. Go humble back to the Most High and the Lord. Ask and keep asking and asking over and over for your forgiveness for whatever you did to break the law. After you're given your blessing, continue to pray unto the Lord. Job 8 verse 7. Though your beginning was full of sinfulness, cut off, you were dead, lack of knowledge, at the bottom of the table, the bottom of the food chain. Yes, you were the least among all people, afflicted, scorned, disgraced, poor. That's where they put you. Small as small as you can be. Gentile, they put over you. They put your servant to rule over you. And yes, they made you small on top of small. But you shall be enlarged in the latter days. In the latter time. Yes, that's called their end time. 2024 to 2027 should be your great increase, will be your great increase. No more small. That's why you're getting your message now. Make your supplication, especially Jacob, the one who has not yet found his spiritual purpose. Make a supplication. Move yourself back. Petition to the Lord. Ask the Lord to forgive you for all that you have done, especially breaking his law. Items. Ask. Turn your thoughts back to the Lord. Turn your soul via your prayer, by means of your prayer, back to the Lord. Giving you your chance to get your increase. Stop being small and get your great increase in the latter time. It is your time. All of this is happening because of you to put you back at your great increase, to put you back to be big, to put you back at the top, to put you back to show true righteousness to this planet, to put you back to be prosperous. Supplication via Job. But we're not done yet. Hear me now. This is for the more serious offenders of the Most High Law. We talked about the covid we talked about the COVID, those who went and took their shots, those who went, took vaccination, greatly, greatly going against the Most High and the Lord's command. It was a test to see if you would choose the right way. Lucifer cannot force you to take those shots. He had to let you volunteer and sign an agreement paper that you volunteered to choose him, Mammon, instead of choosing the Most High. And the Most High had put out his edict saying you cannot serve two masters. You have to choose one, either the Most High or Mammon, which is Lucifer, the God of money. So hear what Lucifer did? He said, if you don't take the shot, you won't have a job. You won't get any benefit of going into these places and doing that. So he used money to tempt you, to entice you into making the choice for him. He wasn't honest in his disclosure of what his COVID is, that he's setting you up for disease X. So when he running, all these wild beasts and creatures and demons on you, your vessel is easy to take over. Your body is easy to take over. That's what he did. So now for you, you have a special, a special supplication that you have to do. You have to pull from Leviticus 26, 40 to 42. All those who did those COVID shots, all those who do all kind of murdering and wickedness, you have your chance right now. Leviticus 26, verse 40. If they, which is you, who have done wickedness, whether Gentile or Jews, Caucasian or Black, Indian, Asian, whatever, doesn't matter. If you confess your sinfulness, whatever you did to break the most high law, 
inequity of your fathers, your forefathers, your parents who gave you that law, gave you these things as norm. Confess that you went wrong, they went wrong, and you violated the laws of the Most High. You went against what he told you to do. Now that you find out, and it's a whoa, wow. Wow, I was way against the Most High and the Lord's rule. Now you have to confess that you went wrong. Those who gave it unto you went wrong as well. You went contrary to what the Most High law is telling you, especially the law of love, the law of medicine, and the law of food. You went clearly wrong on those. So confess that to the Most High when you go to make your humble prayer to the Most High and the Lord. And those I have walked contrary to you. Got to make that confession. Can't be that big man and big woman. I'm, I'm, I'm not confessing. Blah, 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 blah. No, no, go so. Playing with your life right now. And though I have walked contrary to your law. Verse 41 I'm reading from. Though I have walked contrary to your law. And you have delivered me to the enemy of my people. Gotta confess that. That's why he handed you over to them. He delivered you to them. He divorced you and delivered you to your enemies. So you have to make that recognition as well. That's what the Lord had done to you. Now, if you come and circumcise spiritually impure by eating meat and committing sin. That's what circumcised mean. If you uncircumcise your heart, meaning get the meat out and then cut off the impure things that your heart, your thought, your mind is thinking. You got to turn your heart, your thought back to the Lord and get off the meat so you can now become circumcised. That's what it means. Circumcised, cut off from flesh of the food, the meat that cannibal come and give you. And you accept that the punishment that you already got was well deserved because you walked contrary to the law. You were sitting. So until you decide to come out of the sin, whatever punishment that the enemy, your enemy, all the way from Baal Lucifer down to Goma Gentile Caucasian, they were punishing you day after day after day. Those punishment is time already served. Then will I remember my contract, my agreement, my promise, my pledge with Jacob. Jacob, you are the ones, most of you, that took those vaccines, that been running behind the Caucasian, doing all kind of looseness, eating pig, Eating chicken, eating cow, all kind of different food you're putting in your body. So, especially now, if you took that COVID vaccine and you draw that line that I choose mammon because you signed mammon agreement, you better make sure you do Leviticus 26, 40 through 42. Exactly what is being asked of you. First, confess you're breaking the law, the law that you break. Confess that your people, your forefathers, your foremothers, your ancestors break the law as well. Number one. Then tell the Lord you walk contrary to his law. That's number two. Then, then, number three, you accept that the punishment that you got and your people got were just. And then the Lord will remember his covenant and bring his thought back to you. Firmly given back unto you. There's nothing that you cannot come back from up until the 23rd point five nine hours. But you're getting this at the 23rd hour. So you can make that change before the 24th hour come and 2024 done. And you're not making that change. And firmly fix yourself into the four penalty for karma. Coming your way, spending the time on it. Children of Israel, children of Shem, children of Judah, children of Levi, children of Jacob. This one again. This is the supplication that the leaders of Shem, the leaders of Israel, the leaders of Judah, the leaders of Levi, the leaders of Jacob, the leaders of Ephraim have to make 
and it shall certainly be made on behalf of all of you. Starting first with your Prince Lois, soon to be your priest king, and then with Levite, and then with Judah. All have to make this. Luke 15, verse 15. And the Shemite, the Shemite, went and joined himself a citizen, city slave, of those people that the Lord does not go. Yes, of that country. Goma, Gentile, Esau, Edom, Caucasian set up to keep the Shemite fixed and firm. Lock up, lock up, lock up in. That's when they come up with their citizenship. After civil war, they gladly make you citizen after they free you from the plantation. Supposedly, it wasn't free. City slave, a citizen, he's still a slave. A city slave running around masquerading that you're free. Yes, that's what they did. And he, Japheth's son, go my gentle Caucasian. Yes, at that time, said you to work in the field, to feed swine, to build their economic. That's what the field is of the world economic. The world economic. Yes, they send you there and they send you to be ruled by their little G-God and their little El Lord that is giving them power. Vika, all the way back home. To Canaan, all the way back home. To Benelli, all the way from Benelli. To fallen angel and Lucifer. To feed your swine. Because... The swine that you're eating is coming from those groups. Cannibal. Cannibal. Cain and Baal. Cain and Baal. So you, as a Shemite, that fix up yourself with the Goma Gentile Caucasian, following Dagon's way, following the Philistine way, following Benelli way, swines, you shall be given a chance to get rid of your sinfulness. Make sure you can do this on your own, but your priest king, your Levite, your Judah have to do it as well. Luke 15 verse 21. And the son, S-U-N, said unto his father, the most I ella, yeah, you'd hate for me. And the Lord thought, I have sinned against heaven. I have sinned against you. In your sight, I committed all kind of sin. I no more worthy to be called your son. Is you in? That's your confession to the Most High and the Lord. Ye are God's. You are S-U-N, children of the Most High. And you move away and become swine feeders. Feeding the swine. Cannibal. Children of Israel. That's the confession that you're going to have to make. Same thing I told you here in Leviticus 26. Same thing I told you here, over here, in Job 8, verse 5. Same thing you're going to have to do. It's telling you, over and over, you need to make your supplication. Over and over, you need to make your supplication to move yourself back to the Lord. This is how you do it. And he shall move back to you and give you your reward at this time. Children of Israel that made that journey back to their Lord, turn their thought, turn their thought, turn their mind, turn their soul, turn their prayer back to the Lord. Luke 15 verse 20, that's the reward for the S-U-N. Samson coming back unto you. Yes, he arose and he came to the Lord told and the most Ella. But when he was a distance away, no distance, no more. You're right there. The father hugged you up already. Your father saw you and had compassion, mercy, forgive you, and ran up to you. Fell on your neck. Yes, you get that kiss. Bless him. The head handed back to you from your five divine law. Did you hear me? Your kiss. Your head. God bless man. That's what he gave you in Genesis 1 verse 28. Luke 15 verse 22. Father time. No, oh, to put the blessing on you. The father said to his servant. Who are your servants? I said. Who are your servants? 
your servants in heaven and you have your servants here on this planet. Yes, all the Gentile, all of Goma Gentile Caucasian, your servants, every one of them, God may God, every one of them is your servant. They bring forth all of you, bring it, all of you, bring it, all of you, bring the best robe and make him a priest. Can heaven's gonna put that robe on you and every man on the planet in earth in a physical body? Yes, your servant, going to make sure that happen. Yes, put that robe on Lewis, put it on him. And put it on him. Make him a priest king. Yes. Make the princes that come with him. Levi. Judah. Put them as prince. Yes. The right hand power. Put on him on his hand. Bring back the nation. The left hand power. Social power. Give him back unto you. Coming your way. 2027. Yes. And put shoes. Shoes on his feet. Give him a kind of it. All the gold, all silver, all rubies, all pearl, all diamond belong to him. <laughs> Children of Israel, did you hear me? Did you hear me? Luke 15, verse 20. That, uh, that's your supplication. Reward coming your way. Put that robe on Lewis. Make him priest king. Put the ring on his left hand. Make him the social power. Nation coming to America. Yes, put the shoes on his head. Hey, of it. You think you're poor, broke, and needy? No, no, go so. Children of Israel, we're not done yet. No, 15, 23. Read to him the fatted car. No, it's not going to eat. No meat. No meat. No, it's not. No, it's not going to eat. No meat. Bring him the fatted economic. That's your calf, your cow, your kind economic. Bring him the bullocks. Bring him the fatted bullocks and kill it in this poverty. That's coming to your children. Let them eat and be merry. You're only eating herbs, trees, vegetables, fruit. Going back to the diet given unto you in Genesis 1, verse 29. Yes, your entire fire divine law given back unto you with one stroke. Hear me. 20, 27, all of this. Back on your children. I tell you, all of what's happening right now is for you, children of Israel. The black nation is for you because you are now being raised back up to go to the head of the table. Yes, Luke 15, verse 24. Yes, the SUNs, they were dead, but they're quite awake right now. Arise, arise. Arise! Stand up again. You're standing up again. Yes, we were lost, but now found. Yes, you were sad, but now Mary. Children, this is for you. So, children of Israel, this is as a result of doing your supplication. Your reward come from doing your supplication. Gave you three examples where you supplicate and you get your full reward. The Lord turn back to you. Turn back to you. Give you back your blessing. Children, the Lord, last instruction that was given unto me to give unto you. Second Ezra 16, verse 40. Yes! This is now the time that you're moving in where these things are coming to occur. These things are coming to occur that your supplication will bring to you. But, again, I am going to tear down everything Goma Gentile Caucasian built, everything Vicar of Christ built, your Roman Pope built, everything Benelli built, everything Canaan built, everything Lucifer built, all of it going down. Children of Israel, the last thing I want to 
to leave with you. Because the Lord said, give them my full instruction. Give them my full instruction for what they need to do at this last time when I'm bringing calamity to the planet. Plague and all the karmic penalty coming home to roost. Children, hear me now. I know you are very caring. I know you like to stick your nose into Gentile, Caucasian business. I know you like to know everybody business. But children, hear me no one, hear me well. Hear my words, my people. The Lord talk it to you. Prepare for battle. And in the midst of the battle, in the midst of the battle, be like a stranger. That's the instruction I want to leave unto you. Yes, and in the midst of all the calamities, all the plagues, all the things happening to the Gentile and all the other nations that ruled over you, mistreat you, treat you with scorn. Yes, be like a stranger. Instruction, final one, given unto you. Be like a stranger. Do not get involved. Do not attach yourself. Do not hold on to. Do not give your creative power to all these evil beings and the people that were holding you hostage. Do not give them your energy. You have been giving them your energy. For the last 400 years and for the last 70, they drain every ounce of your energy. Children of Israel, separate, separate from them at this time. Separate from them and their evil and their wickedness. You were told, children of Zion, children of Israel, children of Levi, children of Judah, children of Jacob, get out of Babylon before I mash it up. Get out. Separate, be like a stranger, flee from out of Babylon while I pour out the calamity on her. Be like a stranger. Children of Israel, that's the instruction I get to give unto you and the instruction delivered unto you. And the next message, the great sign of the removal of Levite, Judah, Israel, are those who made themselves ready to be removed before the calamity come. Make sure, make sure, make sure you do your supplication so you can be a part of this removal of Levite, Judah, Israel. Before calamity strike and Lucifer get mad and go mad on you with his great wrath. Lucifer, son of lawlessness, shameless one, know he's going out of business. Done, done, done. So he's out for blood. Children, start travel, children of Israel. Start travel, children of Levi. Stand strong, oh children of Judah. Stand strong, Ephraim, Jacob. Stand strong, all the same. Supplicate, Jacob. And Gentile, Goma Gentile, Caucasian. Yes, you too. Supplicate for all that you have done to Jacob, Israel, during their fallen state. And you again shall be numbered among the children of Israel. Move back to the instruction given unto you. Cleave unto Jacob. Cleave unto Jacob. Wherever Jacob go, make sure you go with him. And you take care of him until his time come. When you shall be numbered among my righteous seed. The one third that survived all of this. Children of Israel, in the name of the Most High, all of you. Ella, Yah, 
God in your modern day, no. Code of wish, code of wish, code of wish. Yod he, vahu he, se ba jot. Code of wish, code of wish, code of wish. Elohim, se ba jot. Yes, my Lord. Thank you, my Lord, for all the blessings, for all the blessings that you brought back to us, my Lord. You have prepared us for the battle that's coming, and you have made us ready, gave us firmly decided instruction. That's what we should do. At this time, we shall turn back to you. Judah got the message. Levi got the message. Israel got the message. Jacob got the message. Gentile got the message. All the nation got the message. So it's up to them. Turn back to the Lord. Don't Melchizedek. Yo, eh, what? Turn back to us, my Lord, as we turn to you. Turn, we will, to you, my Lord, because we can't turn to Lucifer. He's going out of business, and you made it clear to us how we get back our sound mind to know that he stands no chance against the righteous seed that's raising up right now, that you're raising up right now to make sure this planet move back to the order of the Most High Ella. Yeah, you it, Bahu'i. And what you say, my Lord, shall stand firmly as firm can be. Start strong, we will, in your name. We shall fear not whoever come against us. We fear them not because you gave us all the instructions we need. Fear not children of Israel. Fear not children of Israel. I am with you. The whole way. Children. Leaving you with the ending at the beginning as well. The ending at the beginning. You have already gotten that kiss on your neck. From the Lord. The deck. Blessings waiting to come back in. Put on the robe you will, my Lord. The servant, the heavenly servant, and the ones down here that are our servant shall put back on our robe. And yes, the ring going on our finger and on our feet. Economics. We thank you, my Lord. For giving us the ending at the beginning. And we shall be merry. Merry and merry with you my Lord. In the kingdom of holy America. The holy one. Kodo wish. Kodo wish. Kodo wish. Adonai. My Lord. Thank you. Bitch. Yeah. Under Rising sun. Yo, what if Donald Trump was put in position? Shake up the deep state, the shadow government. That's why they all don't like him. <laughs> Feeding us lies through the eyes of the TV. Media owned by the same crooked families. Watching the news and we all in a frenzy. We live in a world can't call for your can't sneeze. Keeping your eyes on the money for real. How am I get me this automobile? Money making numb to the ones who fail. Now is this matrix real? What is virus surprise and election? Change of vote, ooh, the deception. What is solution to the confusion? Kill your fair bondage right there. What if you never like to eat the meat so much? Ain't gotta worry about no virus getting into us. What if the 5G was the infamous? They put the virus in the needle that they gave to us. Corona crash the stock market. What if that's to drain the pockets of the poor, the middle class, and more? The rich weather the storm, that's damn for sure. Move your savings to the money market. Treasury bonds is the talk. Triple six vaccine is on the market. No work, no school if you don't got it. Whoa, time out, find out. All my savings done wiped out You ever thought they might switch up the dough? Ooh, I gotta go, I'ma buy me some gold Long lines in the cantina What if you're getting fed by FEMA? What if you can't plan food either? You ain't plan a stock can't stand Her fuel leads to 
martial law Soldiers on me, they on your block Carolina's in Georgia Get to Florida too, what if that's the spot? Borders closed, what if you can't come back? Civil war is at your door and it won't knock Russians told you about land you got What if they know something you don't? Russia and China ran up to something What if the war would be fought in your own place? Carolina and Georgia, the safe place Florida too, better get there quickly Russia and China ran up to something What if the war would be fought in your own place? Carolina and Georgia, the safe place Florida too, better get there